Hello everybody, this is Mad Marshman and welcome to an episode as such of Dwarf Fortress now. <laughs> Other than that, uh, yeah, right, I'm basically cooking a cottage pie, waiting to record another episode. I've got 20 minutes for the potatoes to boil, require mashing, and um, I don't want to start recording a normal episode. But there's something that's been on my mind for a little while, so we're going to record that. Now, I'm going to start a new fort soon, when this one comes to a demise however it comes to its demise and I'm wondering whether to go for ASCII or a different tile set now I'm quite happy to play an ASCII I play an ASCII when I play on a laptop just to incre increase frames but I'm also recording on a kick-ass gaming PC so I can record on whatever we want and I know a lot of old school Dwarf Fortress players like ASCII and newer players like a tile set. When I started to watch I preferred a tile set because I could see what was going on and when I started to play I preferred a tile set so I could see what was going on but at the end of the day you can play an ASCII. Back in the 80s ASCII was all we had. We didn't have graphics so that was completely normal. So I'm not going to ramble any more on anymore. Let's crack on. So what we normally have is Phoebus but for those who haven't watched me before we're going to load up Phoebus. I do customise my font but we're going for the Phoebus font as well. I often change the fonts. A lot of the tile sets, I like the graphics, but not the font. Anyway, let's hit play. I will move this window. I use a program called Sizer that lets me do that. And this is, don't worry, this is not our actual save. This is a copy of our saved world in a completely Dwarf Fortress folder. So we will, we can abuse it and do what we want. So this is Phoebus with the Phoebus font, which is a, a nice font, I like it. If you watch, used to watch me, this is Phoebus. So it's quite clear, you can see you got your dwarfs look like dwarfs, your wooden logs look like logs, dogs look like dogs. It's all good stuff. Pretty plain and simple, it's not too intensive on the PC. There will be some spoilers coming through here if I release this before the next episode. With the next episode being episode 6 of Treaty Lancet. Episode 12 altogether, I think. Yeah, so there you go. I'm sure that's enough for you to look at. You can see that doors look like doors, beds look like beds, tables and chairs. It's all pretty, pretty normal stuff. Now, what I'm now going to do... I wouldn't advise you to do it to your actual game save. We'll just type in caps locks on. Die. That's the quickest way of killing the game. Well, I wouldn't do it to a save your plan when you're doing it because this is a copied save. Right, so. ASCII. Yes, we'll update our game saves, please. So we're going to ASCII. And, um. We can choose what font we use in ASCII. Now, one font I do like to play ASCII on is Bas <laughs> Bissassam. And this is not in the standard tile set. If you want to do it, it's easy. Look, here's my Dwarf Fortress folder. Let's let's have a quick tutorial. Here's my Dwarf Fortress tile folder for Lazy New Pack. In Lazy New Pack, you'll have tile sets. So here it is. I went on a website and downloaded a tile set. And then I... Right, let's do it. Let's do a complete tutorial. This is off the cuff. This is one of my favourite videos on Facebook at the moment. How to leave work on Friday. <clears throat> anyway. Google. And I don't know if you can hear my new keyboard, but I've got a lovely new mechanical keyboard, which is lovely. <clears throat> Tile sets. Tile set repository. So... And 20 by 20. So this is it. So all you do is you right click on save image as. I mean, and you can just browse directly to that tile set folder if that's the way you want to roll. And there you go, save it in there. So then that will appear in the list. As easy as that. So that was a happy days Mad Marshman tutorial. So let's have a look at. All right, I'm going to have to make this happen every time. Okay, continue playing. Yeah, on the subject of graphics, I had a comment from Dwarf Fortress Royalty, Dwarf Comic. And um, Dwarf Comic... See, this is um, 
Asker, yeah, Dwarf Comic commented on me when I said that I wasn't a Dwarf Fortress nerd because I didn't know the months of the year. And he said, well, you are a Dwarf Fortress nerd because you are <coughs> recording and uploading Dwarf Fortress. And he is exactly right. There's The only thing nerd you're about watching people play games on YouTube is recording and uploading games on YouTube. But Dwarf Comic, here's for you. <laughs> I am learning. Here is the print from the wiki of the months. So it is... I am learning. I'm learning the Dwarf Fortress months, yes. And yeah, like I said, Dwarf, Dwarf Comic. Dwarf Fortress Royalty. Good artist. Um, you know, those who watched me from the start know that I tried doing my own thumbnails, but I just don't have the time all the time. I will want to do it again, so I hate just copying other stuff. Admittedly, some of my Dwarf Fortress top, um, thumbnails are not 100% original, because I am working from tutorials and things so um but yeah i do like drawing my own i enjoy doing it that's finding time so yeah anyway back to tile set so this is quite quite easy to understand here's a military dwarf you can tell because he's got armor on here's a normal dwarf a d for dog there's a sapling little t for trees the g is probably a guinea cock yeah a chest that's like a chest let's use shift that'll get us around quicker so beds look like beds. That's broken. These are broken bolts, probably, from um, shooting at the archery target, I would say. So let's just drop through some layers to let you have a look what you're dealing with here. So this is an ASCII tile set, but it's quite a pleasant one. The smooth, the smooth walls look nice. Ignore this, because these, are, if you remember, were sand and dirt, so I dug them out I'm as yet to replace them. There's a load of bedrooms. Another spoiler there for you, for those who know how to look at ASCII. But this is easily playable. You'd be surprised how quickly you adapt. So let's um, let's bring this in. Let's go for die. Like I said, don't do that to your regular save because that's not not a nice way to exit. Now CLA. I'm rather fond of this. This is ASCII, but it's enhanced. I've not actually looked to see what CLA stands for. I mean, I use Linux and CL would be Command Line Interface. So whether that's Command Line Advanced, I don't know. I'm just guessing now completely. Um, what font are they going to pick for us? They've got their own font, so we'll go with that. All right. Um, did that just move into exactly the right place somehow? I don't know how that... No, it didn't. That was sort of. Right, I'll use my size. I'll use size. You can set the size and position of a screen. So all I'm doing is I'm, I'll bring one in for you and show you. If you look on the edge here, if I right click, I get these are things that I've set. So OBS, I've got OBS 1920 by 1080 because I've actually included the. It's probably more like 1930 by, I don't know, 1110 or something to include the size of the title bar and the scroll bar, etc. So you get to see it in 1920 by 1080. But anyway, that's that's what you do. You right click and you you select what you want, and bang, it it happens. Anyway, that's it for another day. So CLA, yeah, I'm rather fond of this at the moment. I wouldn't be upset if anyone suggested that I play in this because then this would be a nice way to ease yourself into ASCII if you wanted to go for the more traditional tile set. Because as you can see, we're in ASCII. But look at a dog. A dog has got like a dog's head and a tail on it. And a cat has got like a little cat face on it. And the P for the peacock looks like a peacock. And the S for the snake looks like a snake. And blah de blah de blah. Dwarfs look like dwarfs. Military dwarfs are like military dwarfs. Very much like Bissama, however you pronounce it. Um, the This is like normal ASCII, the pound signs for minerals, etc. Beds and chairs, stockpiles look like little grids. It's all it's quite, I say, it's quite pleasant for an ASCII tile set. You could, I think, you could ease yourself. You could ease yourself into ASCII with this. Well, I said we all used to play an ASCII back in the eighties. It's just that's all we had, so you, you just got used to it. The water's blue. I mean, what, what more do you need? So this is quite a pleasant tile set to play in. The font isn't too bad. It's readable. Not a massive fan of the font, but like I said, you you can change the font. Um, where's where's die die? Right. 
Where are we? Lazy new pack. Right, choose. Dungeon set, gem set. Iron Hand is a lot like Phoebus. Not a massive fan of either of them. Space Box is one I used to use quite a lot. It's very cartoony. But it's um, very easy to read. Easy to see what's going on. It's really quite clean. They have quite a nice font as well. So we'll leave their font. If you want to resize a font, you can just scroll you can scroll in and scroll out. But be warned, when you start to play, that will be the font that's in this left hand side of the screen. Hang on, let me just do that. Pop. Right, so we'll bring that down to a sensible, even though we're not going to play. We'll bring that into a sensible zone. And now I'm going to have a drink and probably hit my microphone. Which brings me on to something else. I've ordered a blue snowball and a boom and a shock mount and a pop filter so soon I can get rid of this headset and have a great big dirty great microphone in front of my face. Well, not right in front of my face. And hopefully we should have crystal clear sound what we want to have for the money I'm spending. And um, I can eat and drink and things while I play, which is great because I don't have time to edit. This is why I do this sort of like a live stream, but, but not live. The only issue I've had with Space Fox is this. Sometimes if you don't smooth walls, and we can't smooth these because these are sand and dirt, um, they're a bit hard to see. But once they're smooth, they're awesome. See, this is quite pleasant. I mean, you've got like your yaks and your sheep. Your dwarfs are quite comical, really. <laughs> they're quite funny. Look at the little kitty. Stairs are nice. Bedroom smooth. See, smooth floors and walls are are quite pleasant in this. I do like Space Fox. It's, it's quite nice. Spoiler again. If this gets released before episode six, it'll be a spoiler. If not, you've already seen it. These muddy caverns. I want. I wouldn't mind getting here, but there's about thirty thousand, whatever they are, crundles. They just come down the ramps, and they're like everywhere. So it could be quite dangerous in there. This is dangerous. We've got a staircase coming down in here. I mean, this this fortress. I tried to do a safe dig in the last episode. <laughs> we're, we're leaking a lot of sea. That's quite funny, really. But that's all part of the fun. Isn't it? So there's Space Fox for you. Die. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm not going through all of them because they're not all my cup of tea. And even though I'm asking for input from my viewers, I will at the end of the day do what I want to do. Because I said, um, yeah, I'm doing this for your enjoyment, but mine too. Like, you know, I've bought another, I bought a two terabyte hard drive for, to record onto. That was 80 quid. I've now ordered virtually 100 quid's worth of microphone and accessories. And I've only, I don't often get more than 40, 50 views, but that don't bother me. I'm doing it for my fun and yours, so to hell with it. So here's Meth and Vordak. I think Vordak is just the dwarfs. Meth is the rest of the tile set. And Meth is nice. Um, but it's heavily on the graphics side. If you're an ASCII fan, you're not going to like Meth. Meth. So the tile set. The font. Yeah, the font I'm going to want to use. <clears throat> I quite like this font. That's about the right size. I've got a 4K monitor, so if you're doing this, you might want 8 by 16 or 12 by 24. You might want a smaller font, but yeah, this is a big 4K monitor, which is nice. But I do like the meth font. It's quite bold and plain and, and nice and clear. But meth is about as graphical as us in Door Fortress get. But if that's what you want, that is here. So as you can see, we got, I think this is 32 by 32 meth. I'm not sure if they do a 64 by 64. But yeah, you can see like even the butcher's workshop is, you can see everything. A little meat cleaver on the table, bits of meat, splat as a blood, blood is that like a rib cage and some giblets and some water. We've got the, hey, what happened there? Bit of a misclick, I think. Yeah, the tanner's rack. We got our mushrooms and things. So, um, yeah. 
very, very graphic. Very, very graphical. Let's have a look at some dwarfs. Yeah, so there's the military dwarfs all in their various armour. There's a, a non-military dwarf, wood burner. Cows and sheep. And this is... The, I don't, I would say, I don't think it's actually that clear. I think something like Phoebus or Space Fox is clearer at a glance, you know. But I mean, look at your archery targets and your broken arrows even look even look like broken arrows. This is probably not behaving that well, so I think it's designed for a bigger screen, because I've only got this in 1980 by 1080, despite, despite having a 4K monitor, I record at the resolution that I um, display at. Yeah, the dwarfs are really smart, aren't they? The dwarfs are really, really quite groovy. As are the workshops. What's that? It's a mechanics workshop. Got his set square and his ruler and all his cogs and things. Look. Oh yeah, craft dwarf, jeweler. It's pretty easy to see what everybody is in armor. I'm not even going to need to click on it. That's got to be a steel. Yeah, it's got to be a carpenter. Gee, this is really is very. Very pretty. There's all the metal working area. But we're digging down for magma here, but we've got so much wood on this map. Spoiler. Yeah. So one thing about this map, which is really, really strange, and um, I'm actually going to go back to our original tile set for this. I wasn't going to do this in this episode. This is purely about was going to be purely about tile sets, but there's something that's bugging me, and I don't always like to talk about what's bugging me in a normal episode, but we're going to have a little looky-looky at it. And like I said, this isn't our um, normal save, this is a completely new save, this is in Dwarf Fortress 44.5, you might be able to see on that folder, so we're not currently playing in that, our one is 43.05. I didn't really want to go into the new version while they're sorting bugs out, but I think our next fort will be in the new version. And let's zoom in a little bit. Continue playing. Yes, please. Yeah, our depots, our depots. I, I really cannot work out for the life of me why our trade caravan can't get in. So if we push Shift and D, the, the whole map is red. See, our fortress is green. They can get in to our fortress, but if we go up or down levels, all the ground around our fort is red. They're, they cannot get onto this part of the map. So it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what I do. There will be no wagon access to our fort, which is a bit annoying. I mean, they walk in and they bring goods that they can walk into the fort, and we're trading, but I do like to trade a lot. But anyway, thanks for watching. That was leaving the comments. I don't get many comments, but I would like some comments. What would you like to see? Would you like to see a more traditional ASCII set, an enhanced ASCII set like CLA, or something purely graphical like MEF? We'll stick with what we're doing here. I mean, I like Phoebus, which obviously, because that's what I play in. But I'm willing to try something else. And um, Dwarf Comic, it's nice that you're watching. If you want to hit me up with a picture of Treaty Lancet, I'm not really groveling or begging. Um, hit me in the comments and I'll send you my email address. And that'd be great. Obviously, I'll display it on the channel and would be loved and cherished and probably end up as my desktop wallpaper. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.